Hello and welcome back to the channel. So you join me today from an undisclosed location just because I don't really want to give it away and I'm here to photograph the red deer. Now we're just starting to get into the rutting season and basically today I have a day to go out and try some wildlife photography. First things first, I literally just parked just over behind me. I was completely unprepared, didn't have any of my camera gear out or anything like that. Um, I was just trying to do a little opening sequence to the video and a little grey squirrel um, was kind of sat up looking at me, uh, completely oblivious, didn't mind that I was there. And then a Montjack deer um, came and joined him. Now as I'm sort of semi dressed in camouflage, I'm not completely dressed yet, it didn't recognise what I was. So <laughs> that was just really, really cool and a brilliant kind of start to the video. The plan, where I actually am, um, is in a fairly dense kind of woods. Now I've actually seen red deer at the start of this journey um, before. There uh, doesn't appear to be any in here at the moment, but I've got a long walk along a lot of sort of countryside, a lot of farmland. So there's infinite potential infinite possibilities to explore I'm going to treat this as kind of like a, a recce slash photography opportunity and I guess we'll just see how we go along hopefully we might just see some red deer so let's go okay so I'm out of the woods and I'm now met by kind of like a heathland area no sign of deer yet but this is where livestock are kept like sheep so I'm not really expecting to see too much here uh, basically the plan now is like I say I'm dressed semi dressed in camouflage I probably will as I get sort of further along get into full camouflage now the reason for that is deer haven't got a particularly amazing eyesight but their sense of smell, as I mentioned before in a previous video, is actually really, really good. And I've got the disadvantage of quite a strong wind today. So I've got to make sure that I'm downwind. The problem with that is you can't predict which way the wind's gonna blow, when it's gonna blow. It's just completely unpredictable. So we gotta try and stack things in our favor. Now obviously I know deer eyesight isn't the best, and camouflage, if they do manage to smell me or even hear me, the camouflage should pretty much confuse them. I mean, we've already seen that with the Munjack, Munjack deer earlier. So it just, it just gives me a little bit of an extra advantage. Now, the main thing at the minute that's showing up is my face. It's the most contrasting bit about me, which is something that's gonna stand out and give me away. Uh, if I spot any deer, that's something that's gotta be covered. And yeah, the bottom half doesn't matter too much, but I probably will wear camouflage trousers. Let's keep exploring, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, this is literally just seconds after that last video. Um, not good scenes. I'm out in the open. There are red deer, at least does. Not sure if there's any stags, but they were along that wood line, which you'd expect. It is about quarter past 11. Um, beggars can't be choosers. This is what time I could come out. Now, sadly, I just saw them running alongside that wood. I don't know red deer behavior, they've definitely seen me and they're gonna clear off. So, <laughs> it's a crap position to be in, but yeah, definitely things need to be, need to be slowed down, need to be kept more tactical. As soon as I hit that wood line, the full camouflage is coming on um, because these animals are just, these are wild animals. This isn't um, a deer park. This is the wilds of Norfolk. And these guys get hunted. They're certainly scared of humans. They're not used to them at all. And if they see me, I could just see them off in the distance, running between the trees. Um, if they see me, it's game over, basically. They're gonna run. Um, the only chances I've got, we're late September now. I can't hear any bellowing of stags. If I could hear the stags, um, they're not particularly, in my experience, especially the big boys, they're not that fussed about humans. At the moment, they're more interested in getting their end away. Um, 
they're going to have not too much interest in me. They're going to be quite aggressive, potentially. But I think we're not really far into the rutting season for that kind of behaviour. And like I said, I just want to see where these deer are. We've already found that. Uh, so let's hope for a good experience today. Let's head towards this woods, get the camouflage on. And yeah, let's see how we go. So, this is the really good thing about deer, is they're so easy to find. I've literally just entered the woods and I've got their tracks. So all I have to do is follow those tracks. And with any luck, with a bit of stealth, it should take me straight to them. I've heard the noise, I've heard that <laughs> noise, <laughs> that was a good impression, uh, that they do, it is literally straight ahead, all I have to do is carry on in that direction, I think the vlogging, they got to stop, um, for now, for now, don't worry, um, I'm going to get as close as I can, and then stay put in a fixed location and then hope they come to me or I get shots in the distance. At the end of the day I'm not here to hunt or harass these animals so yeah let's do this as sensibly as possible. All right I'll see you in a bit. So I'm inside this tree line and it's pretty obvious that this is where the red deer, I would suspect, go during the day. They're remnants of their fur. There is poo absolutely everywhere. I would say that a good sized herd definitely chills out in this area. Now, I don't think you'll be able to hear the sounds of the stags. They seem to be coming from over that way. Um, what I'm going to do is go for a little explore, but keep this in mind, because this could be a good static location to go. Yeah, awesome. Where we are now, there's a trail that goes straight in between this bit of woods here. Now I remember where I am now and last year I got really successful uh, photographing a really large stag at quite a close distance and I remember heading down that trail to do that. Um, I don't know if you can hear the bellows but every now and then I can hear uh, that typical kind of stag noise. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, what I'm actually going to do though is pack away the vlogging camera because I just want to make as minimal noise as possible um, and then if I end up in a fixed location pull it out then so yeah I'm gonna do that um, I don't know when I'll sort of speak to you guys next
Okay, so I'm all rested up. Now the plan is the deer have actually sort of sloped off into that woods. I'm feeling a little bit of exploration. Um, I've not actually been, I don't think I've actually been over that way before. Uh, lots of time. It's almost it's 10 to 1. So we've not actually been at this for too long. Um, whilst I was just sort of chilling, eating my lunch, two roe deer just went out into the field. I got a little bit of footage of those, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I could, I could genuinely sit here forever. Like, <laughs> nature, nature everywhere. It's amazing. It is amazing. And God, I've needed this. I've needed this. Right, let's go look for some more deer. So I've just been on a really big walk uh, looking for the, that herd of deer. Didn't find them, unfortunately but I'm not too fussed to be fair. Now one thing that I did sort of notice was the fact that how good the system that I'm using is for that kind of scenario. Now I left my bag, put everything away and I was basically just carrying the Lumix G9 with the 100 to 400 lens and no tripod, anything like that. And I was able to get good handheld shots and not even that, just obviously using a tripod, you're drawing so much more attention to yourself. It's a big object that animals are, they're going to notice at the end of the day. Now, being able to shoot handheld just kind of lowers my profile. It makes it so much more liberating. And another thing as well, now the G9 sh sort of mechanical shutter is nowhere near as soft as this G80 I'm filming on now. The G80 is ridiculously soft. I don't think even you could press it next to a mouse and he wouldn't even hear it it's just that soft but even just using that mechanical shutter this is the advantage of mirrorless is it's so quiet the deer weren't picking up on the shutter sound and that was using the mechanical I didn't even need to switch to the electronic which is completely silent and it's just something to note really that you know if you're using a big setup a big old tripod um, big full frame camera big full frame lens possibly a DSLR, that shutter just would have scared everything away. So it's just a bit of a win for this system. Sadly though, in terms of vlogging, it's still extremely difficult. Perhaps I need to invest in like a, a GoPro so I can kind of take you with me on that journey because I just think in that scenario, um, this little pixie tripod that I'm holding, you wouldn't have had a good angle of what I was doing. Um, putting this camera on a big tripod and then try and deal with manual focus and so on wouldn't really have been practical So yeah, that's, that's the only downside really. It's just a shame that I couldn't Take you along to you know sort of see what I was doing, but like I said these are wild animals and It's a lot different than Taking shots of deer in a park. I know I keep going on about that There's absolutely nothing wrong with it if you live in London and you know you you want to get shots of deer that's pretty much your only choice but just for me coming out into the wild is just a much better experience okay the shots are never going to be as good um i sort of wager that 99 percent of those amazing deer shots on instagram are probably taken in the deer park that's that's just the reality of it so yeah I, for me it's just a lot more exhilarating it's a lot more rewarding getting shots in the wild so yeah, pretty much the plan is now, because we're at the kind of peak of the day. Now the light, I was about to say, was really contrasty, um, but the clouds just sort of covered the sun. So far I've been quite fortunate in that the weather's kind of held off, but it wouldn't shock me if um, some dark clouds start rolling in and we get a bit of rain. Not, not a problem though. Um, I'll take the clouds over sort of harsh contrasty light any day of the week so yeah we'll just have to see see what happens really yeah so I'm finally out of the forest I've just left that behind me now and I'm on the sort of flat ground where the livestock are just where I started off 
Now, there's a little bit of me that's slightly disappointed. Um, I was expecting to see a few more red deer than what I actually saw. But to be honest with you, just to be out outdoors, um, to even see any red deer, is it's more than good enough. So, so yeah, I think at the minute, the only thing I can really do is head back to the original woods that I came out of after I left my van. Uh, there's quite a few squirrels and stuff in there, so, you know, potentially. But it is half free now. The clouds are starting to come in. So I'm not too sure. But either way, not a, not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. It's not the rutting season, really, as such. We, you know, we're just heading into it. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's been quite hard um, to identify the deer. And you go out in sort of October, beginning of November, you can just hear the deer and... You, you can find them that way. Oh, really? So not a drop of rain all day, which has been good. But now a cloud's come over and started to rain. So, yeah, we need to get moving into that woods over there, I think. So, let's go. So, I'm finally back at the van, which, timing-wise, it was absolutely perfect as it's just started raining. Now, eagle-eyed viewers might notice that this is a new van, and yep, for anyone that hasn't seen on Instagram, this is my new camper van. Now the reason we've got a new van is that we wanted a separate bed area for our son, and it's just a more modern and better solution. For example, we've got a TV, power steering, it's a turbo diesel instead of petrol, it has a toilet, a shower, hot water. It's just a lot better for us as a family, because we as a family like going camping, not that that's really happened much this year because of corona um but yeah hopefully going forwards it'll serve me well for my own photography and just the family in general so hopefully i'll make a van tour video at some point although like i said nothing's gone as planned this year i was supposed to make a van tour of my last van and that didn't even happen so all i can do is just try my best really photography wise it was just lovely to get out today there's no award-winning images in there ever, um, but it's just nice to get out in nature, do something that, to be honest, I haven't really enjoyed or been, a been able to do in so long. It's just, it sucked the enjoyment out of me. This year has just destroyed me mentally. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't need to go into that. I'm sure everyone suffered in their own way, but I can't really think of one good thing that's happened to me personally due to this year it's it's been dreadful so yeah thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video in some way uh, please leave it a thumbs up it really does help the channel out if you've got any questions or comments or just want to say hi please do so in the comment section i don't know what video will be next or what's going on i do have a trip to wales or snowdonia lined up sometime next month hopefully that will go ahead who knows but yeah, channel-wise, I can't really organise things just yet, just because life is just, <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, I'll do my best to try and upload more content, although, like I said, I can't really help that in a minute. Thank you very much for watching, and take care. Till next time.